Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Take Solutions, an interesting IT company but that has fallen over 90% in the last couple of years. So let's understand what needs to be done. Let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position into any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I start with the analysis of Take Solutions, here's a small request that I'll make better videos on YouTube but once if you help me on Patreon. So go to the Patreon link that is available in the, in the description and uh, probably you can uh, look at the articles that I have put in there and the videos and you'll get exclusive articles from me every week. Uh, once I have more than 100 Patreons, I'll try to start with a YouTube course on investments and a technical analysis for no additional cost. Now about Take Solutions, this was established in 2000 and they provide IT domain intensive services uh, for life sciences and supply chain and they are also into life sciences R&D and BPO services. Uh, they also help companies in various sectors in supply chain information systems. The market cap of the company is on close to 600 crores and have offices in nine countries across Asia, Europe and South America. If you look at the financials of the company, they have been pretty good. The sales are up by around 25% and the profit growth has been up by around 41% to 51 crores. And it is a completely debt-free company, which an IT company should be. More, more or less IT companies are debt-free. Uh, high promoter in institutional holding and only 8% free float uh, is there in uh, take solutions. Uh, the return on equity is at 12.4% and this is a cause for concern because normally IT firms and companies with uh, no debt and high uh, you can say cash ratios have very good uh, return ratios uh, which are closer to 25-30% rather than 12-12.5%. Uh, the operating profit margin um, was around 17% and that looked uh, decent enough. So how about the performance of the company? The performance have been not that great in terms of stock performance if you look at it. Although the numbers have been robust but uh, uh, if you look at the stock performance the stock has fallen uh, remarkably from around 350, 330, 350 levels all the way to I think 360 levels all the way to 38, 39 now and it has broken most of the you can say strong supports of the last five years and I had to go back on the chart for more than five years to look at supports um, it has declined over 90 percent from the 2018 January highs and have been a complete uh, rank underperforming even in the IT index so even when the IT index did well even when a uh, large cap and mid cap IT stocks did well such as like NIIT tech or LNT info technologies Infosys TCS etc tech Mahindra even did recently well yeah, but uh, take solution take solutions uh, refused uh, to go up and it continuously went down even with good numbers um, so it has been an underperformance even with the results that have been pretty uh, decent uh, the low tax rate is a concern so what happened was earlier they used to pay around 24 25 percent tax but this time around they paid uh, taxes in teens or less than that probably 10 percent or so uh, of that sort so Normally consistent tax uh, uh, strategy or consistent tax giving by companies uh, are of uh, better strength. The, those companies are of better, you can say, pedigree compared to such companies as uh, uh, Take Solutions which pays lower taxes. So uh, that has become a concern altogether and we need to look at that. Although the valuations look very attractive in terms of uh, the, in terms of the, EPS growth and the EPS that it has, it has come up with uh, the PE currently is only 3 so 3 or 4 PE is a very attractive but the stock is continuously falling so if you look at the technicals uh, of the company then the com uh, then the stock have broken all strong support levels from those 360 370 levels it is at 39 40 rupees and and 
amazingly i was looking at the four year five year chart and there have been a relentless selling even with uh, large institutional investors being part of the company so probably uh, when the march quarter numbers of uh, investment i mean investment shape up would come up and, and whether institutional investors have uh, sold or not that would come up when the march quarter you can say shareholding pattern comes up that would be sometime in april and may and then we would know that how many uh, large investors have uh, sold uh, take solutions but at the moment there is there is absolutely a relentless selling in the stock and uh, the next solid support is way down it is down for about uh, say 35 40% from these levels at around 23 24 so probably do not buy into it unless it crosses 43 at least on a closing basis and even after that be very cautious and i believe that only above 60 you can expect any sort of break, a breakout but uh, people have to look at this stock uh, uh, and and buy big in order to uh, retail investors to, to getting into it so i would not recommend you uh, to get into the stock at around uh, say 39 40 levels unless there is big buying from institutions even more and the stock crosses 60 61 the 200 dma is at 100 101 that would uh, be now becoming as the uh, biggest resistance uh, for for the stock and the low return ratios is probably what has made people stay away from the stock another thing is that many of the large cap companies in all the sectors have come down sharply whether it is fmcg finance you look at banking nbfcs you look at other consumption companies which are consumer discretionary autos everything has fallen so people are not looking at micro cap companies unless they are of very good pedigree and uh, like doing 40 50 percent profit growth and people always wanted to get those companies and now they are coming cheaper so people are going towards quality in this uncertain times and they are getting quality cheap and that is the biggest uh, you can say positive for those stocks and that is another reason why the stock has been absolutely slam dunk so, so people are taking out uh, money from uh, the stock and putting it into you can say larger players uh, which which are of different sectors and of course low return ratios is something that is absolutely not a given when when somebody is buying a company today uh, they are ready to buy uh, a stock which is uh, you can say 10 20 30 percent expensive uh, even uh, at that price uh, even if the return ratios uh, if the return ratios are good uh, they're ready to buy those stocks expensive so you take the example of irctc take the example of fl uh, then there there is dmart and, and many other companies which which have very good robust return ratios debt free companies cons into consumerism yet are not producing very good results but are being bought into so uh, you have to take that into consideration all of this so these are attractive valuations no doubt and uh, but you need to have but it needs to have the technical strengths in terms of numbers and fundamentals all look good but uh, buy once it crosses the 60 levels at least and let the uh, numbers come out of shareholding and then get into the stock otherwise look at consumption plays which are of simpler businesses and and have come in attractive levels look at those companies rather than going for take solutions and have less than five percent portfolio uh, have le le less than five percent into this portfolio of such a stock so this was my video on uh, take solutions please like and subscribe and channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get my video straight away when i post it thanks a lot for watching